Hello and welcome to today's WPI Press Centre Daily Briefing. Today is 6th of July, I'm Patti de Bonitas. And I have with me, as usual, Hamid Tabaye, the leader of the WPI. Welcome, Hamid. Thank you. Um, we found an interesting interview with um, a reformist or a supporter of Musavi. His name is Mohsen Kadiva. He teaches at the moment in the U.S. at the university, and he gave an interview with the German magazine Spiegel. Now, I think he brought up a few very interesting points in the interview. Um, first of all, he, he says that the, this form of um, theocracy in Iran has failed. So he obviously has some um, other idea of theocracy that could be possible. Other form of theocracy. Yes, other form of theocracy for Iran. And I think he makes it quite uh, clear. First of all, he says that, um, that the rights of the Iranian people are trampled upon. And he obviously says that they, uh, they do have rights. He points to, the, uh, to various articles in the Iranian constitution saying, you know, they have the right to assemble and that Ahmadinejad and Khamenei, they're basically ignoring these rights. Hamid. Mm. Now, first of all, you know, when you call that guy a reformist, you should be very careful in using this term because he's an Islamist reformist, it, meaning there's no reform there. So that's the first thing. Like, like the movement that Khatami was ahead of before, five, six years ago. Now Musavi. He says that my political leader is Musavi, and he's trying somehow to save the whole system. As you said, he says, this form of theocracy failed. But what is failed, actually, is theocracy. Any, any shape, any form of theocracy. People want, that's the minimum thing that people want, separation of uh, religion from the government, from the whole judicial system, from the... Uh, everything. So that's the minimum people want. So people like Adi were trying to say no, that's not true. People people want other form of Islam that him or Khatami or Musavi are representing. And I think the whole interview with Spiegel, I read that the whole interview is trying to convince people of the world maybe that that movement is not against the whole Islamic Republic. It's only against uh, Khamenei and Ahmadinejad. That's the whole thing. But he's trying to do, yeah, because he, um, he's been asked um, that he says people shout Allahu Akbar and they, they say, where's my vote? Um, and he says the protesters don't want to rebel against everything, but yeah. they do want justice um, and a fair election. Yeah, that's correct. Some people shouted Allahu Akbar and uh, uh, some people shouted that to dictator. Even the guy who interviews Spiegel magazine put forward that question as well. Uh, uh, ask him that there are many people who didn't shout alike, but he said that's the dictator. And then he says, right, but they're not that important. That's just a and minority. They're people, and they're young people. Young people, young that people. sort of thing. But especially young people that are majority of Iranian people, I think. Young, I mean from the age 17, 18, up to 25, 26. Our majority of Iranian people is a very young population, and uh, I think almost all of them, they are not after uh, Islamic values, as that guy claims. They are uh, after a uh, human being way of life, as it is represented in Western countries or everywhere else. They have nothing to do with Islam. Even if, look, that guy claims that uh, the society is an Islamic society, it's rubbish. No society is identified by the religion of its people. Even if people are Muslim, that most of them are not these days. After the Islamic Republic, even people, they don't have, they, they, they don't believe in Islam even as a, a or personal faith. That's the truth. But even ignoring that, as far as the, uh, the society, politics, and government is concerned, people are not Muslim at all. I mean, people are against political Islam, what we said, political Islam. And Kadivan and Khamenei are one branch of that political Islam. They just want to modify somehow uh, the Islam in order to survive, in order to have the Islamic Republic established there. That's that's the after of the after of some other form of Islam, with the hope that we can keep the, our regime together. And with that movement, that especially we had in the last three weeks. It showed that it's impossible. It showed everybody that it's impossible. Many, many politicians in the world, many people in the world who are following what's happening in Iran, they are convinced that now society 
it rise up against the whole system. But Khadiva speaks of, he says he wants, um, he wants an Islamic, a truly Islamic and democratic state. So according Maybe to Maybe he possible. wants that, of course, he wants that, but that's only him and a few people part of the uh, establishment. Of course they want other forms of Islam, they want to save the system. But it's not what majority of people, especially young people in Iran want. So what you're saying is, if the protesters become more successful, and they um, can change the, the government and the system in Iran, they won't have an uh, Islamic state Yeah, anymore. already we have slogans in the street that is very directly against the whole system. Death to the Islamic Republic is one of them. Or we don't want any form of religious government is another one. Death to dictator, death to Khamenei and that sort of thing. So already the movement is much ahead of them. They are too late for them. You know, being a reformist uh, 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 is, is not enough anymore, let alone an Islamic reformist. It's worse, you know. People, even, people can't believe, okay, maybe you are right, we want a, a better uh, life, a, a much more open, that sort of thing. But as far as you said, in the frame of Islam, people say, no, 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 we know you. We know you, you know what you are talking about. Nothing uh, under the banner of Islam. So if you want even be a true reformist, forget about Islam, not talk what you are talking about. You know what I mean? That's what people expect. So for those sort of, for any form of reformist is too late, and let alone for Islamist reformists, people are going to fight them. People see them against, against people, against their will. Not only people on the street. Don't not, yeah, people on the street, meaning majority of people. Uh, so I think for people like Kadiva, like Khatami, like even Musavi, it's too late now. And there is no way that they can save the regime or under form of theocracy as he claims. Hamid thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, this was today WPI's daily briefing, 3rd of July. I'm Patili Bonitas. Until next time, goodbye.